Welcome to part two of our intro to the digital SAT. If you missed part one, then don't worry. Just go back and have a look before jumping into this one. If you'll remember, in part one, we covered the significant changes and new features to the updated SAT. This transition from a paper to a digital-based test is a new system called Computerized Adaptive Testing, or CAT. Now that you know the basics, we can fire up the engine and get to work. We'll start with reading and writing. Instead of two separate sections, the digital SAT combines reading and writing into one section. Passages are much shorter, ranging from 25 to 150 words. Plus, there's only one question per passage as opposed to multiple questions per much longer passage. This is music to the ears of most test takers, but keep in mind that the total length of the section hasn't changed much. In fact, after quick calculation, I discovered that the max word count of the paper SAT is 5,550, while the new digital SAT sits slightly higher at 5,775 words. So, all in all, the updated format is relatively the same size, if not longer. However, you'll need to focus on 54 questions paired with 54 unique passages. That means you'll need to quickly switch gears through a variety of written pieces such as poetry, scripts, and facts. But the upside is that there's only one question per passage, so you won't waste time trying to figure out where an answer lies in a passage. And don't worry about the time. You'll have 64 minutes to complete this section. That gives you roughly 1 minute and 11 seconds per question. That's nearly 10 seconds more than what students once had. Moving on to the specific categories within the reading and writing section. Literature, nonfiction, history and social studies, science, career related. We're still dealing with the same handful of areas. No change there. The new digital SAT, however, features poetry, drama, and literary nonfiction in passages, an addition that broadens students' exposure to literature and challenges them to deeply analyze and interpret texts. It's important to familiarize yourself with the format and question types before test time. Now that you know what's in the reading and writing section, let's look at the four different domains or question types. Information and ideas makes up 26% of the reading and writing section. These are all about understanding the author's message. You'll see questions about close reading, finding evidence, and summarizing text. Craft and structure is 28% of all the questions. They focus on your ability to comprehend words with context and build connections between related texts. Expression of ideas makes up the smallest chunk of the reading and writing section. This 20% of the test challenges your ability to write and effectively use language with rhetorical synthesis and transitions. Lastly, standard English conventions is 26% of the test. This type of question checks your knowledge of grammar, punctuation, and language rules. Don't look back. We're well on our way to the finish line. We have now mastered the reading and writing section of the digital SAT, and it's time to shift our focus to the next key section of the exam, math. Go ahead and check out our next video to learn about how the math section changes. See you there.